Let's kick things off with new products to hit the market in the last month. Now, Mito Red Light have come out with a red light therapy mask. Quite a big move here. Uh, masks are quite a popular product in the red light therapy space. So we've seen companies like Mito Red Light who have come more from a panel background, really branching out now. Uh, Mito Red Light, for instance, last month introduced their intranasal device. Now they've got a mask. So this mask is using 415 nanometer blue light plus some amber 590 light and the red 660 light it looks pretty good they've actually sent me one so i'll probably do a review actually speaking of mask reviews hang around until the end of the video because next year i've got a big project that i've been putting off for far too long and i think it's time to execute it so more on that later in the video weber medical this is a company that i bumped into i think it was last year they have that wrist device uh which i also need to review but they've just introduced some new products it's more of a targeted device where you can treat specific areas such as the ear or the nose rather intriguing i'll put a link to this and of course a link to all the products all the articles i mentioned down below speaking of down below i'm affiliated with a lot of these companies so if you want to find the best deal or get a discount uh, chances are there'll be a link or a promotion code or something like that down below if you use these codes you save but i also get a commission now chroma have just released an update to their sky portal this is now the sky portal 2.1 uh, they've released quite a few interesting products this year i'm going to do an interview with their founder another interview with their founder next year uh, and to go through a lot of this a lot of the new products but also a lot of the the science and technology that they're incorporating into their new pro products, especially around opsins. So, hey, if you're looking for a really good SAD device, seasonal affective disorder device, or you just need some artificial light that is as natural as possible, uh, definitely check out the Sky Portal. All right, so the Block Blue Light Ultimate XXL. I have to check my notes here. XXL. Now, I'm filming this early December. I am told that they're going to be taking pre orders mid-december so not too sure when this is going out but i have been given a few more details so here's what i can share with you the new xxl ultimate is a true full body panel it's the size of say your royo 3600 so it's bigger than the elite xl panel that i've reviewed in the past it's incorporating more wavelengths uh it's meant to be super powerful one large design which is great it's going to have an application and it's going to have the ability to adjust the intensity of specific wavelengths. Something we saw with the Royo Refine panels. Uh, and they're also including the ability to save a particular protocol. So a blend, a mixture, whatever you want to call it. So this is cool. It's taking a lot of the elements from the Royo design. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it typically happens in the space. A company comes out with some innovation. And then, you know, you see the competitors copying it um so we're seeing that here it, it does mean this panel is going to be very attractive because i know the rojo panel was extremely attractive for all those bells and whistles plus it was the larger size it was a much better size if you saw my body panel comparison review in 2024 uh, you will see what i'm talking about and why the rojo 3600 was so attractive and why some people were a bit like disappointed with the block blue light panel because of its size and missing some of those features now that this is hot, it, it really spices thing up, things up. I'm going to have to do uh, a direct, well, a, of course I'll do a, a review, but I'll do a direct head-to-head -head comparison as well. So be sure to subscribe for that. Uh, that will happen next year. And again, this may be shipping. I don't know, uh, and I don't know the exact price yet, but chances are this video is up and the product is up in which case i'll put a link to it down below maybe my editor can even put the price on screen if it is live at the time of a publication otherwise stay tuned oh and here's a bit of a surprise platinum melody have just released a new ninth generation yes ninth generation of the biomax range uh, this came as a massive surprise i shouldn't be surprised companies are always coming out with new products but i wasn't expecting it i I got a message saying, hey, we're now shipping our ninth gen Biomax. I thought, wow, okay, cool. What What's new? And um, here's where things aren't as exciting because the new updates are improved internals. Don't quite know what exactly has been improved, but that's what I'm told. And they've now incorporated voice control into the panel. So um, they're going to send me one of these so I could ever play around with it. Voice control in a red light therapy panel is not something that was top of my wish list for new features in fact i don't even think 
it was on the bottom of the wish list. Uh, it's not really a feature that excites me. I, I personally aren't big on the whole like Siri commands, hey Alexa, or all that sort of just. I, I, it's just me. I, uh, it runs different. But when it comes to a relight therapy panel, do you really need that? I mean, it's just pretty simple to flick a switch or press a button. And Blindmax has a really nice control system as it is. Anyway, that's what they've done. Apparently, it's got multi language support. So there we go. In other semi related news, Vitamin LED have opened up or are opening up warehouses in the EU, which is going to mean much cheaper and much faster shipping to the UK and the EU, which is very interesting to be honest. Because if you have seen my videos on like the best panel for Europeans or Canadians or Australians, uh, the Platinum Biomax panel, even though it's a really good panel, does not often feature in those videos because international shipping is extremely expensive. So it does spice things up, and I guess it is good news for consumers. Well, it's great news. So yeah, really keen to hear your thoughts on this new 19th gen uh, Biomax panel and the voice control feature. Does it excite you? Um, yeah, let me know if it does. All right, what about new articles? Well, there were two great articles that went live on the Light Therapy Insiders blog. Uh, if you aren't already on that newsletter, jump on it. There's some great content going out over there and some awesome uh, newsletters that go out every few weeks. So the first article is what light therapy is best for rosacea. And the second article was a massive write-up from Bart. And the article was titled, The World Federation for Laser Dentistry 2024 Review. The 12 Most Important Ideas and Innovations. So Bart traveled to this event and he met with some of the leaders in the field. So look, if you're interested in light therapy and oral health, dentistry health, definitely check out this article. And Bart has some interviews that will be up on this channel in time as well. What about articles from the web? Well, Mito Red Light have an article on the benefits of green light therapy. Is this uh, a teaser uh, of what's to come? Are we going to see a Mito Red Light panel with green line in it in 2025? Who knows? Juve have put out an article on how red and near infrared light is lacking in our lives. Of course, the idea is uh, you'll then go and buy a product i guess but i mean they do make a good argument for why we are lacking a lot of this light especially as we're living indoors and we're living under leds uh, we're not around fires or even out in the sun as much as we used to be can you have an article on why red light therapy is becoming so popular and has really taken off in 2024 joves have put out an article making a fairly strong call on why light therapy, red light therapy is not linked to cancer. So check that out. And Euronic have an article on red light therapy for sleep and also an article on the intensity of their devices. All right, so this month's new science section is going to be a little bit different. This month, I'm actually going to critique an article published on the New York Times. Now, this article was titled, We wanted to find the best red light therapy device to help with pain. Here's why we can't recommend any. It's quite a big claim now i could actually unpack this at quite some length i may actually do a separate dedicated video for this so stay around for that but here what i'm going to do is link to that article let you go and read it and then share one or two key criticisms you see the article quotes from several experts in the field but i believe some of the claims are quite misleading for instance one expert says researchers still do not have a full understanding of the biological mechanisms for how red light therapy works and yeah this is true i mean Experts such as Michael Hamblin and James Carroll have said similar things. But this is also the case for many things in health, including pain itself. And despite these unknowns, red light therapy has been well proven to help with a lot of conditions related to pain, such as joint pain or fibromyalgia, even though we may not understand the mechanisms behind this. The article also states, Research still lacks definitive answers on whether red light therapy alleviates pain. But again, there's a lot of evidence showing that red light therapy helps alleviate a lot of conditions related to pain, again, such as joint pain or dental hypersensitivity. In fact, for any of you that have been following me for since day one, um, thank you, you'll know that I suffered from dental hypersensitivity and red light therapy was the first thing that solved it. So some pain types are under-researched, but it doesn't invalidate red light therapy as a useful tool to help with pain. You could jump in our Facebook community, links are down below, do a search for pain, and you'll find lots of people sharing their stories how their new red light therapy panel or wrap or whatever it may be has tremendously helped with their pain and their standard of living. The New York Times article also states that we really need 
large-scale clinical trials to see the connection between red light therapy and pain and comparing it with a placebo. And yes, this is true. It would be great. I would love to see this, but such trials are very expensive to do. And is the incentive there for someone to fork out that money? Remember, red light therapy is, it's not a drug. It's very simple to access, low cost, low barriers of entry. So it's not some new radical drug that has had years of engineering behind it meaning we may not ever see large-scale trials such as this. Lastly, it's noted in the article that methods in the studies vary widely, which is true, but that doesn't mean we should dismiss red light therapy as a whole. Similar uncertainty exists in many fields, including exercise science, for instance. Overall, I believe that there is enough evidence that red light therapy can help with conditions such as joint pain, dental hypersensitivity, or fibromyalgia. And to be honest, if I suffered from any other source of pain, I would try it as well. I mean, why not, right? Anyway, I highly recommend checking out the article and doing your own thinking, critical analysis. Uh, but we'll be doing an even bigger write-up on this in the newsletter, so stay tuned for that. And again, I may do a separate video taking a deeper dive. All right, this month's question is around dosing. And it reads like this. Hey, Alex, I've seen the topic of dosing discussed a lot in your Facebook group. And I've read but two excellent blog articles about dosing. But I still do not know what to do and how to know if you are overdosing. And yeah, it's a question that I often get and it's something that I personally think about as well. I've actually tried to get the answer from a lot of the experts in the field on this question and I've still not got a clear answer. So here's my take. Firstly, we don't really have any way of testing whether you're overdosing or not. But in my recent interview with Professor Michael Hamlin, he did give some clues as to what may happen if you are overdosing. And pretty much at a really basic level, he was saying, if you start overdosing, you're going to get a negative result. Now, this could mean that typically after five minutes, your joint pain goes away for the rest of the day. But after 15 minutes, the pain is still there. Or maybe the pain goes away, but not as much as it does after a five minute session. In our Facebook group, we get a lot of comments and feedback from people using red light therapy products. And yes, some people do report that they have a feeling of being sunburned after doing a long session in front of the panel or in front of the device. Some people have even claimed that they have a redness glow for a day or two after a long session. Other people have reported that they feel tired or fatigued after a long session. Now, I will say that there seem to be two factors that protect the degree of hypersensitivity to red light therapy in people. The first is if you're unwell and have multiple chronic health conditions. And the second is if you've done no exposure to bright light or bright red light therapy before. Maybe you don't even really get outside in summertime in the sun. But even with this, there's no formula or golden rule as to what you're going to experience if you do overdose on red light therapy. I know in all my years using the products and I've done 30, 40 minute sessions next to high powered panels, I can't pinpoint any overdose response. I've never had a rash. I've never had skin issues. Uh, sometimes, yes, I feel a little bit tired after doing a session. I mean, I've fallen asleep doing red light therapy sessions. Was that a result of overdosing or was that because I was doing the session three o'clock in the afternoon after only getting five hours sleep the night before because the kids were up all night and I finally gave my body the time to just relax and I'm surrounded by a nice warm light and uh, it was just very relaxing. I don't know but I can say from my own experience I haven't noticed anything. I guess if you're concerned about overdosing the key thing is to start slowly. You wouldn't go into the gym if you haven't trained for two or three years and try to your max lifts and do a full strength session and then intervals and then a long hour-long run at the end of it. No one should do that. Yeah I suppose people do but you shouldn't do the same with light. If you get a large panel and you've never used it before you've never done any red light therapy maybe just start with like two or three minutes each side of the body, six inches away, have a day or two off, rinse and repeat. Don't dive straight in and do 30 minutes leaning against the panel and uh, hope that all's, all's going to be well. Just start low and go slow. And I know what you may be thinking, well, what are the dangers here? And this is something that maybe I can answer in another video. But again, after speaking to a lot of experts, I don't know. I actually don't know. From the sounds of it, there don't really seem to be any side effects, which is quite amazing, really. Of course, though, if you do suffer from a health condition or a medical condition or you've 
using this to treat a particular problem, speak to your doctor, I'm not a doctor, you know the script. All right, so what's upcoming on the channel? So we've got a video looking at Soulwave versus alternative products. We have an interview I did with the guys from VLI. We have my body panel versus wall panel comparison and whether you should spend the money and get the larger panels. Uh, we also have a video on the best panel for pulsing. I also mentioned earlier that I wanna do something next year with masks. Now I'm pretty keen, pretty keen to get a bunch of masks test them all, compare them all, and try and find the best one. Well, the best one for a particular goal. I guess it's going to be beauty and skin health. So that's what I'm hoping to do in 2025. Um, stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button. Of, and of course, let me know in the comments if you do want to see that. Now, while you wait for that, maybe you've missed one of my other videos. First up, we did a lot of content on Black Friday or around Black Friday. Of course, most of these deals have ended, but some of them still run through until the end of the year. So check out the Black Friday deals blog for any deals that are still live. I also did a review on the Flex Beam. You can check that out. I also did a holiday shopping guide and I did this video. It was looking at the dangers of red light therapy. Um, kind of links to what we were saying earlier, but like, this video is yeah, it's doing really well. It's got a lot of interest and a lot of comments. So check it out.